My name is Ali Ebadian, the CEO and founder of Firestone Technology. The history about this product that one day coming back from Washington on the plane, I met a gentleman that later on I find out to be the godfather of the data destruction. And he asked me what I do, I told him energy and environment, and I asked him what he does. He invited me to his house and he showed me what the data security is. So with his insight, we started in the back of the garage with our first product. I'm Shiruzi Badian. I'm the CIO here at Feistens Technologies. Informally, I've been with Feiston since day one, as my dad Ali is the founder and CEO. Used to see him walking in the garage, playing with these machines that I had no idea what he's doing. Um, formally, I've been the CIO full-time now for one year. I left corporate America because I really believed in what these guys are doing, and now I'm full-time. So it's really been inspiring to see what Ali and the Feiston team have been able to grow from being in a small warehouse of 500 square feet, to having a couple of clients, and now working with some of the largest tech companies in the world, and being an industry leader in data destruction solutions to be able to consult and keep up with the ever-changing market in terms of hard drive and solid state drive data security solutions. My name is Raul Travieso. I'm the CTO of Feiston. What we do is we develop innovative machines for our customers. I'm in charge of uh, R&D. Also do support of manufacturing. We design and develop all our equipment in-house, and we also do our manufacturing and integration here. Pretty much get feedback or voice from the customer of what their needs are for data destruction. And then we'll go through the process of coming up with concepts and proving out those concepts. Uh, once we do, we'll do the design phase. We'll validate the design, and then we'll go into production. My name is Doug Graham. I am a production manager and quality control manager. I run the warehouse. On the floor, we build all of the machines. A lot of them scratch, we'll build them from the floor up. We do all the testing, take all the equipment through our quality checklists. Some of them have, you know, ranging anywhere from 40 checkpoints to 57 checkpoints. Our production schedules are based mostly on orders. Um, so when we get orders in, we'll build the units and get them shipped out right away. From order to ship time is usually within 24 hours. My name is Juan Profit, and I'm in accounting and operations and I'm helping to coordinate a lot of sales uh, from the sales department. Then I take over to final delivery of the products and coordinate service and shipping. So our products ship worldwide. Some of our customers have special requirements in terms of shipping, where we have to become an importer for them because they just want the product delivered from our door to their door and they don't have any other worries. My name is Giancarlo Gamboa and I am the service manager. So I have direct contact with all users, all operators, their managers, their teams, DCOM teams, all types of operations, especially if they have any questions, they're talking to me. They're emailing me, I'm answering their questions, I'm helping them navigate through anything that comes up that they don't understand, things of that nature. I handle all of the uh, service tickets, meaning if the machine is down, I'm in charge to bring the machine back to operation, wherever the machine may be. So this is global, meaning Japan, Singapore, China, Hong Kong, Germany, all the states. So yeah, I'm basically talking to all the customers around the globe. So my, uh, my father's background was not in data destruction and, and computers IT, but he had an engineering background. Most of my life, my training, my education was in energy and environment. So he started messing around with these machines in our garage and I would just walk out and go, what are you doing? You know, he's, he's in the academia industry, very different. Um, so it was, confused at first then when he mentioned you know building a hard drive crusher it's like what the what the hell is that we started with one product in 2007 in the back of the garage and now we have up to 18 products and we're operating in 20,000 square feet here we are 2022 14 years later um, and for him and the company to be able to see have the foresight to be able to say hey this is something that's going to be needed in the market it's been a cool journey with covid when that hit a lot of businesses suffered where ours increased. 
that really accelerated us and other companies to say, hey, we're going through data faster. How do we dispose of that? With COVID, everyone's at home on the internet. People are working remote. There's more data. There's more online shopping. We had a pretty good base inventory, so we could we were able to keep building and keep going. We actually had the police department come through. We were all back in full operation mode, building, selling, shipping. We were allowed to stay open because we were considered an essential business operation. We've attended a lot of conferences and it's really interesting to see how this is such a new and emerging trend in terms of end of life data destruction. You would think it's a lot more advanced in terms of, you know, computers, the internet's been around for 20 years, but it's still such a new industry in terms of even some of the larger companies are struggling to find out, hey, what do we do with these hard drives that we have, that we have to destroy, we have to get the data off of it, laws are ever changing. So it's really intriguing to see how it's not, the industry still fairly new, and me being a part of Feist and Technologies to be able to further that and, and help the company in terms of providing solutions for these companies, it's truly been rewarding for a small business. We are Feist and Technologies. Delivering tomorrow's technologies today.